you had to guess, what percent of people in this world are inactive? Zero, 10, 30, 50, 70, 100. Well, it's not 100, but the way that we're going, then it probably will end up like that. So, what did you guess? Was it 35%? If it was, then you'd be correct. The average population is 35% of people who are inactive. Well, that may seem kind of low. That means that if there were three people in a room, three people, then at least one of them would be inactive. And there's actually a better chance that more than one because 35 is more than 33. So we need to get that number down to 0 0.00000, repeating forever. But that probably won't happen because there's people like these, who the only reason they exercise is so that they can slurp down a couple milkshakes, maybe a, some root beer floats, some hamburgers, some hot dogs, and then they're like, yeah, I earned this, it's fine. And then there's people who just like, well, dogs who just don't feel like exercising. And then the ones who are like, I'm exercising. Play on words. First I ran out of beer and then I ran to get some more. Didn't work. Yeah, I'm into fitness. Fitness whole taco in my mouth. Uh, yeah, that's probably not gonna happen. Then we've got our exercise guy. He says, this is not okay. My name's Logan Szymanski, and I'm gonna be talking about being active. Do you know how I said that 35% of people in this world are inactive? And that you have two neighbors. Most likely, that's just kind of common sense. That means that of the three of you, probably one of you is going to be inactive, if not more of you. It's kind of interesting to think about. And pretty soon it'll probably be two of you. And then three of you. All of you would be inactive. Because that's the way this world's going. And we need to stop that. So you know how there's 35% inactivity rate in this world? That's really, 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 really bad. Do you know what's worse? Two. Two out of 196 countries in this world have an inactivity population under 10%. One of them, Bangladesh. 4.7% inactive, they're our best. There are only under five. Mozambique, 7.1% inactivity. And then two well-known countries here, the US and the UK, they're 40.5% inactive, pretty bad gets worse, 63.3% inactive, and it gets even worse. Here's our list of a few countries, down here in Mozambique, all the way up here is Malta. We've got like 20 countries that more than 60% of their population is inactive. Out of just these like 60, 80 countries, okay, that's really, really bad. And our highest is Malta at like 72, 74. That's bad. Capital B, capital A, capital B. Because we need to make it look more like this. Zero, 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 zero. If that makes any sense, that means no one's inactive. Because zero percent inactivity rate all the way down. That's how we need to make the world look. So, one of the reasons why you should exercise is there's some really interesting slash cool sports that you can do. One of them is for all you Harry Potter fans. Quidditch. Invented by college students at Middlebury College in Vermont is where this is your broomstick. You're gonna ride it around and you're gonna pretend like you're in the air. 
then you're gonna basically play the exact game of Quidditch. And it's actually become so popular that many colleges actually have Quidditch teams. The second one is toe wrestling. You know how you'll thumb wrestle and whatever? How about taking off your shoes and socks and toe wrestling? Yeah, probably not exactly what you've heard of before. But that's not really a sport, but still an interesting activity. And our last one's underwater American football. Like the ball that is ovalish slash really weird shape because it's not circular like literally every single other ball there is. And we're the only country that plays it other than there's the CFL in Canada. So don't get confused. It's not what we call soccer and everyone else calls football. It's American football. And it's like a mix of water polo and soccer and American football. Water polo is soccer in the water and everyone's swimming. And now if you submerge that and you switch football to American football, then you've got underwater football. So yeah, it's kind of an interesting concept. But those are some really interesting sports that you can do. So, why you may ask is, how does this exercising help? Like, yeah, I've told you, yeah, it's great for you, and it's gonna do better for you, but then you're gonna be like, yeah, okay, you're telling me to exercise, but there's no benefits, so I might as well not do it. Well, you're wrong, and here I am to prove you. Probably want to answer here is that by exercising you can live longer. I'm pretty sure you and you and you and you and you and everyone else in the world wants to live longer because you can spend more time with your family, your friends, you can do more fun stuff just by doing something as simple as exercising every day. So if you're wondering, yeah, so you tell me this, but that could be a big lie. When you exercise, you're helping your muscles to stay strong so that they can go for longer distances so that you can not tear themselves, they don't hurt themselves, and then you can and you can live longer, you can do more fun stuff, you can be with your family longer, you can be with your friends longer, and yeah, like you can do more fun stuff by doing something as simple as exercising every single day. Then you can live longer to do, well, whatever you feel like doing. And I hope that my talk has made you want to go exercise. 